This video will teach you how to set up your advising campaign in Navigate EAB. Once you've logged in, you want to make sure that you are on the home page. It should open up to the home page here. And then you will have several tabs, students, upcoming appointments, my availability, and appointment queues. You'll also notice under students that you have listed all of those students that have been assigned as your advisees for uh, the current semester. These students will all be enrolled. If you compare this list to the Excel spreadsheet that I provided for you earlier, you will note there will be some students on that list who do not appear here. And if you check them and look them up in Navigate EAB, I discovered from mine that none of them were currently enrolled. I only had one student who is currently enrolled and did not show up, and she's a new student this semester. So I will have to add her manually to my list. So once you're at this page, we're going to first before we set up the campaign itself, you have to set up your availability. Those are the dates and times that you are going to have available for your students, your advisees, to schedule a time with you. So I'm going to start right here on my availability. Now you'll notice in mind that there are some old inactive available times from last advising. And I don't need these anymore. Sometimes I find them useful to copy, uh, but I'm going to get rid of all of these because sometimes they're confusing to me um, to, to do that. So to do that, to, to delete them, I just go up here and hit delete. And it wants me to confirm it, and it will. And then it will go on and delete it. And there will be a little gold bar. And when it's finished, it will disappear. So now that all of my old available times are gone, I'm now going to add a time. So click under Actions, Add Time, and now we have to add the availability. And I've done this several different times, and I've come to the conclusion it's probably better for me to do them um, in batches of not, not combining MWF. So I'm just going to set up Monday, and my first time that I'm going to be available is going to be 10 a.m. And you want to set these up as individual uh, blocks of time. So for example, I want my appointments to be 30 minutes for my students. I do a lot of prep time before they come so I can get it all done in, in 30 minutes. So I set them up in 30 minute increments. So this Monday, um, this is going to be uh, a duration. This is only going to be, it's also going to be a range of dates. because I don't want this to be available forever. The CAS advisors, that's what they do all the time. So they go through and they set up for the whole semester, the whole year, whatever. But we only do a limited campaign about, mine's gonna be about two weeks. Um, so it's going, this is gonna start on um, March 16th. And it's going to end, well, actually, I'm going to make it, I'm going to make it be every Monday, March through Monday, March 23rd, because, I mean, March 30th. Um, those Mondays are going to have the same blocks, so each of the three Mondays, the 16th, the 23rd, and the 30th, will all have a 10 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. time slot. So this will just keep me from having to do it all the time. 
Now this is important, this next part, what type of availability is this? You want it to be a campaign, so click on campaigns and we want to click the care unit, it's going to be advising. Now I'm going to tell you some of this just isn't going to make sense because the locations are not your office. <laughs> it's going to have to be the CAS, the College of Arts and Sciences, and it is not, there's no way to put your office in here. And so we're going to put in what it's about and just put our registration. Now what I do under here, the special instructions, I'm going to put meet with your major advisor, Dr. Marsha Matthews in CAS219. That way I've told them that's where it's going to be and it'll show up in the appointment and any reminders. So now I'm going to save that. So I'm going to look at it again. It's 10. Okay, my range of dates are correct. And I'm going to hit save. So there, that one's in there. We're going to tell the campaign which dates to pick when we set that up, but you need these set up first. So my next, so I'm going to go ahead and set up um, another another one for Monday. And to speed this up, I'm going to say copy the time. And um, this time I want it to be 10.30 a.m. to 11 a.m. And it's the same range of dates, it's the same everything, except it forgot the message I wanted. <laughs> So to prevent this from happening again, I'm going to select all of this and I'm going to copy it. So I'll have it for the next time. Oh, I forgot this part too. You want to make sure it says you're not, you're only going to meet with one student per appointment. I think that is the default. So make sure that's, that's what you click. So now I'm going to have two of these in here. I'm going to have Monday and I've got a 1030 and a 1030 11. So now I'm going to do it again. I'm going to duplicate. Copy time. Now I want one from 11 a.m. to 11.30. And I'll paste my little message in there. Except it, it changed. Oh, you have to really be careful because look, it just has it. It's on 221 and that's not correct. Um, it's, you don't want that because I don't want February. So I'm going to go back, be sure you check this and make sure that it's actually going to the dates you want. So I've got to go back and correct the other one. This one right here, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to, I need to um, edit it. Click on the edit button. And I'm going to change the dates. <laughs> So you can see that those are all lined up right there. And I'm going to see if I can't pause this. I don't think I can. Is the dog's barking? Well, now we'll just get to hear Romeo bark. So I would just keep adding those on there. And I'm going to stop the video right now because you just keep adding these. My next ones, I'll be adding the afternoon appointments on those Mondays. And then I'll set up ones for Wednesday. And I think I've got some on a Friday. So you just keep doing this till you get them all done and then come to the next video and I'll show you how to set up that appointment.